Good afternoon, everybody. Let's talk about which oil paint brand is the best or which one you should buy. I can only talk about the brands I own. You can see them here. And they are from least expensive to most expensive. Let's start with the cheapest one. And that's Van Gogh, the student grade of Rembrandt. It's a very good paint for the beginning, for a beginner. I started with, in, with these paints and they are very good. Just not that pigmented like the more expensive brands. Then there is, uh, and it's very soft, really soft paint, and it's easy to paint, to spread the paint. Then we have here the Russian brand Masterclass. It's an artist grade paint and not that pigmented, but still a very good paint, and it's so cheap. It does make up for the lower pigmentation, but still more pigmentated than this one. Then we have here Lucas, 1862. These paints are artist grade paints, great pigmentation, and there is a tiny bit of B wax, wax, no, no side bit, and it's also very soft and easy to spread. Then we have the Lefranc Burgos extra fine oil paint, great paint. Only thing I dislike about them is the, the cap, it gets very dirty and it's very hard to measure the paint out you get out and sometimes it's a bit oily if you pull it out of the tube but otherwise great paint this one has the cup problem as well it's really annoying but still good paint then the famous rembrandt great paint Everything perfect. Art is great. Great pigmentation. As good as this one. Then we have Sennelier. The same with the others. Good art is great paint. A little bit expensive for Germany. In Germany. But as well as the others. Great pigmentation. Then we have the Norma. It's the uh, artist grade paint from Schminke as well as Mussini. Um, the pigmentation is good, but not as good as with Lucas, my opinion. But still a good brand. You won't do anything wrong with it. Then we come to the premium brands I own, starting with Schmincke Mussini, awesome paint. Um, it has resin, a little bit of resin mixed in the paint. It helps to dry it faster. The smell is amazing. It smells really good. You can get high from it. It's awesome for glazing. It has the most glazing colors out there. You won't find as many with other brands. Brands. Then we have Old Holland. I think that's the most popular premium brand in Europe.
Musini is the Republic too. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with this paint. Expensive, but we're surprised. With this paint, with all premium paints, you get you only get the use of it if you thin it down. If you use it thick, it's wasting. You can also use every other paint. If you thin it down for thin layers, it will shine out. And then we have blocks. This is the most expensive paint. As good as these two. Brilliant colors, brilliant pigments, but hella expensive. So if you begin as a, I would recommend this one is the winner in the price performance. Great paint, cheap, artist grade, best pigments. You won't do anything wrong with it. If you're starting out and are not sure with what to start, I would recommend use this. I started with this and I don't regret it. Great paint and cheap. Or if you have a guess, then this one. Nothing wrong with it. Good artist grade paint. But my most favorite are this three. If I need the most pigment, if I need the most beautiful uh, glazing, and this one for the normal paint. Yeah. Main rule with artist supplies by what by the best you can afford so i hope this was helpful i only can review jumpers which are available in germany for me nowadays we have gambling here as well but it's even more expensive than old holland and i haven't bought it yet so I think the best paint you can get is the cheapest artist grade in your country. So I guess this is not affordable in the US or this one. So Gamblin is n or Williamsburg is not affordable in Germany. Okay, thank you for listening. And have a very nice day.